Reggie Cartwright. Young Reggie could give Lord Alan Sugar a run for his money. He raised £250 for Barsley Hospice by holding a lemonade stall outside his nan's house. Barsley Hospice is really close to Reggie's school um, and he saw me going in to, to hand his boss on some money over um, and he kept asking why we were going there. Um, his mum told him that there was some sick people there and the money was to help the sick people and he decided that he'd want to do something to help them. So he decided to do the lemonade stand. Um, we got some pallets, didn't we? I watched it off YouTube and I wanted to raise money just like them. And I liked it because I love it, raising money for people. Uh, we was out for six hours and we served 50 people and we made 250 pounds. Since um, doing that event, um, we decided to do another one for Barnsley Hospice. Um, we wanted to raise a little bit more money for them. We decided to do uh, a Snowden walk. We took 42 people up and he was a guide. Um, and we've, so far we've raised just under £2,000, but we're hoping it's just going to go over to 2200 in the next couple of days. Ava Ramsden. When Ava's dad died, she found comfort in a teddy bear. She was upset to learn not everyone has a teddy bear and raised money to help children in similar situations. When Ava's dad passed away, um, I got in touch with a charity called Winston's Wish and they sent Ava some books to complete things, memories and things basically um, and to help her with her feelings. So then when Ava decided to do fundraising, um, we decided Winston's Wish. I wanted to help people who didn't have teddy bears like mine. This is rainbows. I did eight activities and I also rose 80 bears for 80 families. Lyndon Murray. Lyndon is passionate about wildlife and the environment. He spent much of the school holidays and even his birthday helping dredge out a dilapidated canal. Lyndon is uh, really interested in the environment and uh, when he's been in my car, you know, he's, he's always looking out for things and he noticed the canal was overrun. Anyway, this uh, summer holidays, he wanted to go and have a look around and then it just took off from there. He was just prodding around with a stick, just cleaning a bit of weed with the, with a cane. We went back to my place, we got a, a rake head and a, I think it was a 10 metre line tied it and you now chucked it and, and pulling it back in and there were loads and loads coming out and then from day one he's always been into environment. He, he says he wants to finish the old canal where it's like a Never ending thing with it. And with what Lyndon's done, all the cleaning, the amount of stuff he's got out the pond. Where we first started, the, the patchy was a, there were just nothing. But well, gradually, you go down the next time, the next time, and there'll be more wildlife there. You know, it has made a great deal, deal of difference. And uh, like I say, the, the wildlife's back. <laughs> 